What's up, Pirate Gang? Welcome back to another Resident Evil 4 video as we continue Ada Wong's DLC. This is going to be part 7 of our Let's Play. And if you guys do not know, we have new videos up every single Friday. We do do weekly live streams here. So, for the ado, enjoy the video. Alright, so I'm not sure if too many of you guys have heard. So, there's been a story going around the gaming community for a while now that a lot of big game developers and companies want to start charging games by the hour. So you know how all these games have hundreds of hours of like side quest. Alrighty so guys we now have made it to the boat location. Just gotta find the boat keys and we can get on our merry way to the island of death and destruction. Oop we found the keys in cutscene time. Oh no! Who's that handsome devil? Oh it's our boy Leon S. Goddamn Kennedy. That's dope. Here comes I need a hero. Dude, I think you're missing something, bro. You know a boat's not going to start up without the keys, right? Unless you know how to hardwire it, you idiot. Oh, here she comes creeping up on him. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video so far, leave some suggestions in the comments. Like, what future games do you guys want me to play or check out or even try, that matter? And what do you guys think of this game at all and the whole of it? Do you guys like this game? You hate it? And oh yeah guys, as well as that, y'all, if y'all not many of you guys are wondering what the hell I have Leon S. Kennedy wearing right now. So if you guys complete the game on either hard mode or normal, I believe, you unlock this dope ass little bone, like bone style, like monster mask and cool stuff like that. And like the darkish type of design, which reminds me heavily of Dante from Devil May Cry with his darkness outfit. Um, you get this outfit from buying the deluxe edition or buying the separate add-on pack for RE4 as well. So yeah, you quit the game, get the mask, and then you get the outfit by buying it separately in the add-on pack. I believe the pack was like $3, I think. $3.99 or $2.99 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just clearing for that if you guys are curious. I'm sure some of you guys are wondering how to get it, though. So there's your hand. Well, tourists, you are now arriving at your island destination. Make sure you guys keep your hands and feet all body parts in the boat at all times. Make sure to not feed the sharks. They'll probably kill you. Uh, welcome to the island of your certain death. Hope you enjoy. When you when your Uber first arrives to your house and they yell, "Well, we're here," are we here yet? No, shut the fuck up. Y'all seriously can't tell me right now. Ada Wong is not like this universe's Catwoman. Like, Leon S. Kennedy is the Batman of this universe. Ada Wong is like the Catwoman of this universe. Like dead ass. That's crazy. And of course, she put the track around Batman style. That's crazy. Damn. Ah shit. Here we go, guys. We are arriving at our crazy cultist people, bro. Y'all seriously cannot tell me right now that this does not remind you of a Star Wars scene, bro. Bro's like Emperor Palpatine over here, and that's Darth Vader, bro. Young Anakin Skywalker, bro. He's like, kneel before your emperor. Here you go, my lord. Your used condoms you ordered from Amazon Prime. Good. Good, Lord Vader. Oh, damn. She got a 50 caliber locked on his head. That's crazy. Damn. She's like one flinch and headshot. Someone says not yet behind her. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Shit. Oh, who we got here? Whose blood are you here for this time? Mine or Sadler's? She says. Well, that all depends on you. Change of plans. Soldier, plans change. They always change, soldier. They always do. Of course, you're free to refuse. You think a gun's going to be enough to stop me? Well, depending. Is it a Glock or is it 50 cal? Because you know what? Depending, it might. Yo, look, guys, it's retired Duke Nukem. Ah, uh, okay, I'll do it. But it'll cost you extra. He's like smiling mercilessly. Extra, really? Why is decision? I'll send you the new coordinates. All right, back to me, bitching about prices. Extra content. Let's look at Hogwarts Legacy, right here as like an example. They have hundreds, and I mean hundreds of side quests and stuff, collectibles, extra bonus stuff you can do, you know. And the campaign, let alone, is really long. It's a very fun game, right? So, there's a story. Let me get into it now. Details. It says, Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of GTA publisher Take-Two, thinks games should be priced by the hour. This has come from a quote in the Take-Two's Q2 earnings call when Goldman, I don't know how to read his last name, analyst, asked Zelnick for his views on his subscription pricing in the Borders Entertainment market. So, I don't know, guys. It doesn't look too good for video games right now. I mean, if they start do charting games by the hour... I can see that becoming a very, very big problem in the future now, like, big time, because that's crazy. Imagine, like, a game that has 200 hours worth of content, like, side quests, collectibles, you know, DLCs and stuff. Imagine them charting that shit by the hour. So instead of, like, games being 60 or 80, and you guys don't know, at one point, games are only, like, 49 to $59, right? 
They raised them up to 69. Now it's up to 79. All right, games just keep going up and up in price, like everything else right now. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm not sure if you guys heard around the gaming community. A lot of new news come up about Resident Evil 9. It's saying people are expecting the game to be announced in 2024. Capcom may announce it itself. It's saying Resident Evil 9 will have classic characters such as Claire, Jill, Leon, and Chris. Protagonists will return in the upcoming Resident Evil game. Players will also have the chance to play as other characters in certain missions. The game is expected to focus less on horror and more on action. Now I'll give you my take on that. I think that could be a good thing and a bad thing. Now the bad thing about that is if you're not sure if you guys played Resident Evil 6, it came out back in 2016, okay? That game did very poorly with like fans and critics and wise. Um, Capcom lost a lot of money on that game now. They almost went bankrupt. Like a lot of stuff happened with that game, alright? So they made Resident Evil 6. 7 which made a big comeback for them and then as you guys many of you know after 7 they came out the dlc for 7 that did really good they then made resident evil 8 and then that dlc and whatnot and then in between 7 and 8 they came out with the remake for 2 3 and 4 which did really good all right now people are asking if they can make a resident evil remake of 6 i don't know how i feel about that because i mean they've been every other remake of every other resident evil game the only ones they have not made a remake on was Resident Evil Revelations. They never made a re remake on Resident Evil 5 or none of those games, alright? I'd love to see them make a remake on 5 and Revelations. Um, also, if you guys do not know, future playthroughs, we're going to be trying out Resident Evil 5 and Revelations. I've never played either one of those games. If you guys do want me to play one of those games, I currently right now I do have a poll vote on the community tab of YouTube. You guys can go over there and vote on what games you guys want me to play next on our future let's play series but yeah no i don't know how i feel about that some of the news is really good and some of the news is kind of bad so yeah take your leave it and take all of them as i said before with a grain of salt because you never know what's true what's been confirmed and what could be false as the internet is a place with a lot of misspread misspread information as many of you guys know i'm sorry guys whenever i play this damn game all i get vibes is when red dead redemption 2 with all them all rocking the bull masses the whole anarchy anarchy look and stuff like that it's absolutely crazy. I actually love the gunplay for Resident Evil 4 as well, because, I mean, a lot of the guns are pretty fun playing with, like, the semi-rifle guns, like, the Uzi SMG to her pistol. I mean, you have a lot of fun guns to choose from in this DLC. A lot of them are pretty fun, like, gunplay-wise. Then you get her knives, you know, her typical swords, boot knife, and whatnot. Then you got your patatises, coins, you get, like, 50,000 of those right now, don't mind that. Let's just say I've been hunting a lot of Treza booty lads. I've hunted for the one piece. I have found the one piece by selling a bunch of treasure that I've randomly found, you know, stuff like that. As the old saying goes, the bigger they are, well, the harder they fall and the harder bullets it takes to kill them. And the more ammunition, the more bullet spongy they are to fall. And you are one big goddamn boy, aren't you? Huh. Damn. If I was seriously, even though he's dead, he seriously just got out of the way for the lady. He's like, go right ahead, madam. I will get that on my your way to move forward, lady. That's crazy, bro. I feel bad, guys. Winnie the Pooh over there just got his ass lit up like a Christmas tree. Man, that's crazy. Damn. All Burrow wanted was some freshly honey, and he got killed for it. Oh, I see y'all. Here we go. Oh, that's Halakuna, man. Ma Yo, imagine playing as damn Leon SK now and New Game Plus, right? And you look up in the vents, and you just see Ada Wong, like, ball eyes spying you through the goddamn ventilation, bro. That takes stalking to a whole new level. That's crazy. She's like, they better not be trying to make children in there. They better, she, he better not be, she better not be touching my man or I'm going to cut her goddamn head off. That's crazy, damn. Alright, well, back to the band. Bill, let me go, guys. Ada, come in. There's a lab where we can remove the parasites. Had a crazy hunch that you'd know where it is. Their most important facilities are housed in their sanctuary at the top of the mountain. That's where I look. Huh, Ada the Encyclopedia. Alright guys, so now as you guys know, Leon S. Kane just gave us those deets, those information that we now need to go to a Lost Plagas laboratory to then get our parasite removed permanently from Ada Wong's, you know, bloodstream now so it doesn't take her over and turn her into like, some kind of type T zombie monster thing and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like we need to go find some kind of battery pack to power open that door to then progress farther ahead in the mission because we do not have it. And I don't know where the hell it's at. Now we're going to some abandoned laboratory. That's absolutely crazy, dude. Damn. Imagine going to some abandoned death island and, like, going into a laboratory spot, right? And seeing purple glowing tanks with, like, I don't know what the hell they call these damn things. 
I'm gonna be real with y'all guys. These monsters, like the f giant fat ones, that like s um, sliver around like snakes and shit, have big giant jaws that will eat you whole. They honestly remind me of the Uzis or the Ozais, however you pronounce the name from Resident Evil Revelations. Now that many of you guys do not know, Resident Evil Revelations basically came out between four and five Resident Evil, right? And it's a pretty fun game. I mean, these enemies, a lot of these enemies look like they were reskinned or reused assets from that game. Because those monsters in that game would slowly walk towards you, they would try to eat you whole and shit, some of these monsters and stuff like that. And then when you shot the shit out of them, they would kind of sliver around just like that. And the similar design and, like, aesthetic, it's definitely there. They definitely used some reused assets, but I mean, I don't really care. That game kind of took place, like, early years, or, like, the bioweapon attacks and whatnot, and so, I mean... It kind of makes sense for them to have like older type T test subjects as well. I mean, that game they could have made those type these subjects over there, and then somehow got them over here. You never know, lore wise. But yeah, I mean it's crazy though, nonetheless. Definitely enjoyed this game so far, though, guys. Big time here and shit. Oh my god, please, Logan, don't see me, bro. Please, please don't see me. Oh fuck, that's creep, bro. Y'all can't tell me right now if you guys were in a dark alleyway or a corner and this thing started creeping up on you, bro, like the weekend, dude. And pitch black, man. You would not piss yourself. Like, shit, dude. That damn thing is the definition of... Hell, fuck no. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Bye-bye. That's the definition of that damn thing is, dude. Like, holy shit, guys. That's crazy. Well, anyway, if any of y'all did not know either, guys, this is the, like, the la last part of the Resident Evil Let's Play series as well. After this part right here, we only have one more Let's Play series to conclude the DLC of RE4. So, you know, if you guys do enjoy the video and you're still here at this point, make sure to check that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to also check out other videos we have on the channel because we do, like I said, we do Let's Play videos every single Friday. We do live streams. Like, a couple, like, three nights ago, we streamed... Our first part one of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach now. Um, if you guys have any future games you want me to make videos on or stream, you know, leave them in comments. Join our Discord server, message me on there. You can message me on Twitter or Instagram, you know, stuff like that. But with all that out of the way, we're in this abandoned hospital now. Looking around for a pack of batteries and shit to power, then power a door. To then go to another location that I do not know anything about. Now we're in some kind of crowd freeze, um, freezer place, and we've now just found the battery pack, which I get a feeling this is going to knock the power off, just like that. Well, shit. So now we're in pitch black darkness with a bunch of abomination monster things out of a goddamn 80s horror movie, dude. And all I have is my trusty pistol, because most of my other ammunition I've run out of, and I have not been able to find ammo so far. That's crazy, dude. Damn. Imagine, I'm gonna be real with you guys, imagine if they made a horror movie, like, themed, like, Resident Evil themed horror movie, that'd be dope, dude. I mean, we already have an anime TV show, I mean, based off, like, Resident Evil 6 and, I believe, 2, so, I mean, it's not very far-fetched to say they wouldn't do it. They they've, have done plenty of live-action Resident Evil games over the years, they've done plenty of games, cartoon animated movies and shit, to live-action adaptations, you know, stuff like that, I mean, they've done a lot. Of Resident Evil content over the years. Maybe video games, the media, and other stuff. I mean, you know, the merchandise too. They've done a lot. And what's funny, oh guys, is the first ever Resident Evil game came out the year I was born on. Resident Evil 2. Alright, that's funny now, but I came out. And then Resident Evil 1 before 2 came out, like two years before I was born. Resident Evil 2 came out I, I the same year, like the same year as I was born. And that, that's absolutely crazy, dudes. Alright, so now we're in some kind of abandoned kitchen, and why am I getting a feeling something's gonna jump scare or pop the fuck out at me? Like, seriously, something's gonna pop it at me, right? Like, something's gonna jump scare out and try to eat my face, correct? Or not? I'm curious. Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, get the fuck away from me, bro. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, eat my 50 cal, eat my glock, eat that glock, glock, glock. I shot something important, looks like, and damn. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy, guys. Bro, Deadass just got the Deadpool treatment. If you guys have not watched him, right in the Marvel comic books. In one of the Marvel comic books, Deadpool, they got shot, slash, sliced in half from leg to upper torso in half, bro. That's what that should remind me of, bro. His whole upper torso just got taken clean off. Damn, dude, that's crazy. We got this man over here, slow edge walking towards like he's an anime final boss or the Ohio boss meme guy. That's crazy. Damn, dude. Talk about never meet enemies in a dark corner. Talk about never going into a dark corner without a light or at late at night because you're probably going to regret it. 
like I currently am right now, guys. I'm getting fucked. We have now found an illuminate red sapphire gem, it looks like, from the inside of that monster's god only knows where, and I don't really want to know either. So I slide supply back up on ammunition, our swords and knives and stuff, so I know I'm going to definitely need them 100% and stuff. Where I stuff all supplied back up, duped up, got myself some gunpowder. So now I need to head up top side to keep heading in progression to this mission area. So now we're back into the ventilation system. We got our battery needs, so now all I need to do now is go back to the main area, open up that giant garage door and whatnot, and then we can progress to the next section of this mission. Which I do believe we need to head to a scientist base, I think, next. Yep, here we go, guys. We've now made it to our bay door. We have the power unit we needed to get. So now we're going to progress open up this door. And, yeah. And off to the unknown, because only God knows what's going to pop up and try to kill us next. So, yeah. Back in the ventilation system once again. And so, and, yeah. So now, yo, guys. So, yeah, your guys. So, so yeah. So now we are at some kind of... Wait a minute. Is that an old uh, conveyor system? You all know, a lot of, like, islands to a lot of, like, old th uh, uh, lumber yards, they have similar stuff like this and stuff, and I believe somewhere in the U.S., I forget where, there's these little carts that hang on wiring throughout the mountaintops and stuff, and you actually take them for rides and shit, dude. It's absolutely, like, if you have high height fears, this shit will give you a heart attack or probably a seizure and stuff, because how high off the goddamn ground you are and shit, dude. Like, these, these things right here, like, they used to be unsafe. They managed to, like, improve them a lot, but even then, they're still pretty unsafe, because you know, you're really just a skinny piece of metal cart dangling on a small, tiny-ass wire, like, they're 300 to 500 feet in the air, you know what I mean? Connected by, like, giant, tall, um, platform bar things on each segment of a hill to a mountainside, like, anything can go wrong at that point. Anything. That's crazy. Oh yeah, speaking of high heights, I have a funny story for y'all guys. So years ago, back when I was young, I think I turned 15 at the time, y'all. So we went to this place called Kids Day. It was like an event that happens here and there in North Fatherbury where I used to live and whatnot, right? So one year, I used to, every year I used to go constantly. I would never, and I mean never, go on any higher, really close to rides, Ferris wheels, or whatever, okay? So when I went that year, I just turned 15 now, okay? It was a final year I went as well, um... I ended up ch checking out the Ferris wheel for once. I'm like, you know what? I'm hanging out with this, my good childhood friend. I mean, I might as well go on the Ferris wheel, okay? So you don't happen next to us. Y'all probably don't know. I go on the Ferris wheel, right? We go around the rotations, how it goes. It eventually stops all the way on the top, about 200 feet off the ground, bro. My soul left my goddamn body, y'all guys. I was having a seizure slash heart attack on the fucking ride, dude, okay? And this person, it came my childhood friend. Well, this was my ex-girlfriend. We were still friends at the time, and I, knew, I grew up with her when I was younger. My her, my friend Destiny, and whatnot, right? So now what happened was, what's funny part was, she's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "No, I'm quite literally dying, bro." I'm like, "My soul has now just left my body. I am dead ass having a heart attack, and a seizure, and an anxiety attack, all at the same goddamn time. My body was shaking so much it looked like I was a goddamn hamster on a freaking hamster ball, dude. It was crazy, bro." So she's like, well, how can I help to make it better? I'm like, there's not really much you can do to help make it better. Like, okay, I'm having a heart attack. I sees her and I'm shaking, bro. What are you going to do to help me make better? Feel it, make it better, okay? She proceeds to hold my hand. So I'm like, that kind of helped a little bit. And then out of nowhere, she's like, well, I was at the time, I was like, like seizures, okay? She kissed me out of nowhere. I'm like, I'm like, hey, yo, what? What? So well, you always wanted to do it, but you never did it when we did it. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's no... What the have to do with the whole me seizuring and like having to leave my soul, leaving my body, me having a heart attack? She's like, well, do you still feel like that right now? I'm like, oh, no, I don't. That's crazy. That's what I said. It, it's funny. Imagine having a seizure, a heart attack, and an anxiety attack all in the same damn time on a Ferris wheel. Like, that shit's crazy, dude. And, I mean, I'm prone to high heights. I do not like high heights at all, guys. Like, I mean, I've done a lot of things. Like, years ago, when I was one of my old high schools, I went to, we went to a place... I forget the name of it. What was it? Oh, yeah, it was like this camp. It was like a summer camp type of thing and whatnot. It was pretty fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing it, right? They had a contest where you they tie you to like a um. What was it? It's like a it's like ties and when they tie the tree and whatnot. And you can similar to rock climbing. Let's use that as an example. It's rock climbing, right? So I started climbing up this damn tree and shit, right? I managed to get I think about twenty feet up in the, in the air, right? 
And as I'm going, my body started shaking. I started having a panic attack and an anxiety attack and whatnot once I hit 30 feet and shit. And I'm like, still, everyone's like, you can do it, you can do it, Greg, you can do it. I'm like, no, I can't. No, I can't. Give me the fuck down. Give me the fuck down. Give me the fuck down. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, get me down. So I climbed down and I, my body was still shaking, bro. Looked like I was having a goddamn heart attack. It was it was crazy, dude. That's something I know in this day. Like, I'm not a high heights person. I do not like high heights and shit. Man, someone's base like to me years ago. They're like, you know, you can get over your high height fear. I'm like, how? Go bungee jumping. Um, go parachute. You know, people that will bungee jump off bridges of high heights. You know, stuff like that. People that like to parachute, jump out of like planes and stuff with parachutes and shit. People are like, well, that's a good way to get rid of your high height fear. I'm like, yeah, but then what happens if like something happens and like I have a heart attack and I can't focus? Like, say I'm parachuting down, my parachute doesn't open up and shit. Say my Bungee cord, I don't know, tangles up around me and I can't get out, like, you know what I mean? That's gonna fucking, P like, that's gonna scare the living shit and probably give me PTSD, I don't know. Like, that's crazy. I'm not sure if many of y'all guys know, but the other day I was streaming on Twitch and shit, because right now, uh, GTA 5 had an event going on until January 3rd, where it was. There's basically a Yeti up in the mountain in the snow biome section of the map and stuff, and, like, you have to find five clues and whatnot, right? And once you do that, you have to come back around, I think, 2200 between that and 6 a.m. in the game to then kill him. And you get the suit and you get about $50,000, uh, 50, uh, right? I was having fun doing that yesterday on the stream. And now these couple of these kids are all bombing, right? Shit, they're like, we're peaceful, man. We're here to hunt the Yeti. We're here to hunt the Yeti, right? Shit, all of a sudden they start attacking me and shit, dude. So you know what I do? Well, I stick mercenaries on them. I call Mary by the mercenary services on their ass. Call backup helicopter in. I then proceed to call my uh, Kanjali tank on their ass and bomb the living shit. And then they're like to me, Hey, why are you killing us? We're just here to get the Yeti too. And I'm like to them, Shit. I'm like to them. Well, I was here at first number one and y'all are coming up in my, in my area and shit near me and stuff. And from my experience with GTA 5 online, never let any players come near if you're doing something important. Like, if you're doing hunting something and shit, dude, you're doing cargo runs, missions, whatever them, okay? Never let no one come near, because there's always going to be that one fucking ass that's going to go in there and bomb your shit, steal your shit, destroy your shit, spawn kill you, grief, you know, stuff like that. Am I... Am I losing it? Am I like, am I like, um, thinking someone's gonna attack me constantly? No, I'm just, it's out of experience now, man, guys. I've dealt with it so many damn times delivering drugs in the game, doing, like, cargo runs, doing a lot of type of stuff. <clears throat> I've gone grief from that game so many damn times, it's crazy and shit. So let me get back to my point, I'm in. And they're like, oh, we're friendly, we're friendly. I'm, I'm like, nah, go away or I'm gonna keep killing you. And they're like to me, well, you're just bullying us now. I'm like, okay, well, so, I was here first, but go away. And another guy shows up and one of those flying cars with a lock on missile starts laying my ass up like a Christmas tree. So you know what I do in my the worst case scenario? I fucking blow his ass up in my tank. Kill all three of them together. And they're all texting me at once saying, Hey, why are you griefing us? Why are you griefing us? I'm like, I'm not griefing y'all. Go away. I don't want to be left alone. You don't want to hear it? Kept killing them. And then finally they destroyed my tank and shit eventually. Killed me. And they left for a little bit. I called my tank back once again. Killed my Yeti and shit on top of my tank with a 50 caliber sniper rifle, a shotgun, and an assault rifle. So, yeah, I know. People are saying, why don't you bear fit fight him? Uh, bear hand. I'm like, nah. I'll do my shit my own way. I don't trust myself with my fight. No, my stupid dumbass. I'll fuck up with the damn melee combo and get my ass yeet across the map by a goddamn Yeti. So, I'm like, you know what? I was gonna use a tank, but I'm like, come on, at least give him someone of a fighting chance and shit. So, the best thing I did in my situation, I hit on top of my tank. And Sean went a 50 cap about 20 times and he died. So, yeah. But yeah, no, it was crazy the other day. It, I'm shocked that everyone's still hunting that costume and stuff. Almost got the best part about that whole event too as well, y'all. Is if you kill the Yeti guys, you guys get a Yeti costume. Which it looks like, just like the fucking NPC in the game too as well. So you guys, so you guys, you can troll players in the damn game and shit, guys. You can pretend you're the damn Yeti and troll the living shit out of them. So long as you can find a way to turn your name tag off. It's fucking hilarious. I can see a lot of goddamn memes coming in the next couple weeks, couple days with that whole costume, like, big time. It's freaking crazy, dude. Alright, back to what we're actually doing in the game now. I know we needed to come here, we needed to get the sample from the virus and whatnot. We needed to then bring it back to <clears throat> the weird retired Duke Nukem dude to then, you know what, what else and whatnot. So it looks like right here we have some more uh, notes slash files about the test subject supposedly located here. I do not like this one damn bed, dude. Holy shit, man. Nothing better pop up, I and mean, I swear to God, something pops up. Uh. What the fuck is that? Uh, guys? What the hell? Oh, nah. Nah. 
No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Why the hell is Godzilla? Why the hell is there goddamn Godzilla in the sewer system, bro? Oh, hell no, man. Run. Run. -na 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 Come on, turn, damn it, game. Come on, man, turn. Turn, 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 please. For the love of God, turn. Goddamn Christ, man, turn. Oh, my God. Run, bro. Oh, no. Where the hell am I going to go? Oh, no. F fuck, man. I fucked up. Man, I fucked up. I fucked up. Shit. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Shit. Goddamn Godzilla, man. Got Godzilla trying to fucking kill my ass, bro. That stupid damn monster reminds me of a hybrid between Godzilla and King Kong, bro. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Are we going underneath the damn thing now, bro? We're just going to reach his hand down here to grab my ass, dude. Oh, hell no. Fuck that, bro. Oh, shit. He's right above me, man. Shit, dude. He's right goddamn above me, man. Shit, dude. Talk about turning the sewers into a goddamn horror movie, man. Damn. Imagine you being the victim in the sewer system with a monster above you, dude. That's fucking horror fuel right there, man. Holy shit, dude. Damn, bro. Did he see me? Does he see me, dude? Does he see me? Oh, hell no, nah, man. He does see me, bro. Thank God these things are built different, bro. Thank God, uh... Thank God, Mod America Engineering. Thank God they made these things damn sturdy, dude. I'd be absolutely fucking screwed right now and shit, dude, if these weren't sturdy enough, man. Damn. Ooh. More Plata's coins. More ammunition that I'm desperately gonna need. And so now, yeah, guys. So now I'm gonna keep moving up ahead and shit, y'all. Oh, hell no, nah, man. How the hell did you get up here, dude? The fuck, bro? Yeah, man. Talk about not having your base very secured well, huh? Come on, yeah, run. Yeah, run, man. Come on, run. Oh, shit. What the hell's the door code? What's the door code? What's the code? What's the fucking code? Uh, uh it's two, three. I think, yes. Give me the hell. Open the door. Open the damn door. Shit, 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 shit. Run, 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 run. Fucking run. Oh, hell no. Eh. See you later, fool. You dead. I'm out of here. You're dead. Well, that, that really did bring up my PTSD and anxiety right there, guys. I was having a heart attack there, y'all. That damn thing is absolutely goddamn night fuel and shit, guys. That monster right there, y'all, is probably the scariest thing in this whole DLC so far. Like, that ass. That damn thing is probably the scariest monster, aside from the freaking Five Nights at Freddy's games monsters. Like, generally, dude. Holy shit. Is this the stupid damn part where you just spam my buttons to make the laser course? It's like a parkour course on steroids and whatnot. Eh, that's easy and shit, dude. Just need a time by make sure my timing's perfect and I should be good here, I think. And fuck, I got hit. God damn it. Shit! Right to her leg, too. Damn, that's crazy. That would instantly kill me. I guess not. Alright. Come on. Move, Ada. Come on, Ada. Yeah, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Believe. Spam your circle button. There we go. I did it. Hooray. Pika, Pika, Pika. Alright, speaking of Pikachu and shit, yo, guys. So, the other day, I've been a while ago when I went to the bowling alley, right? I was went to the bowling alley for my birthdays and whatnot. So I'm like, why the hell not? It sounds fun, right? So, but I was using the only old fashioned claw machine where you can get the rolls of tickets, right? And I did that for a while, right? I managed to win some shit, though. I ended up spending, um, what do you want to call How much was I'm spending 12,000 damn tickets to the bowling alley on a Pokemon a container of Pokemon cards. I think there were some really rare ones, too, because it cost me goddamn fucking 12 damn thousand and shit, dude, of like tickets to buy them and shit and it was an older pack that came out back in like 2000 something and stuff dudes so it was definitely worth it and shit and then last night i used my walmart money i had to buy a new pair of jeans and whatnot i needed more jeans and stuff and i bought another pack of pokemon cards of course why the hell not so now i have two unopened pokemon card packs right now i think eventually i'm gonna keep stacking up on my gas get a pokemon book collect them you know stuff like that i mean why the hell not you know well that does not seem good what's it i mean oh shit Bro, they gonna nuke the fucking island, dude? The hell, man? Yo, guys, I think they're gonna nuke the damn island, bro. Modern day America's solution to everything. Either amputate it or nuke shit or blow shit up. Because why the hell not? If you can't kill it, you just blow it up. If small guns don't work, you just use ten times bigger guns. Modern day America's solution to everything, huh? Just blowing shit up, of course. Real original, guys. Real original. Alright. So looks like so looks like Ant Man should get her USB drive stick with the information on it she needed. And now she's also trying to look for the amber sample as well. She's gonna need to then complete her mission. To then get the fuck out of Dead Hell Island too, guys. Like shit.
That's crazy. Damn, here we go again, guys. Well, shit. Okay. Our new mission goal now, guys, it says, is to leave the island alive. Hopefully that stupid damn test subject monster damn thing is still dead downstairs. You know what? If that damn thing pops out again, I'm going to cry. What the fuck is that sound? That damn thing better not pop back out again, no matter I'm gonna cry, dude. Like, that damn thing better stay dead, dude, and shit. Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now, bro? I at least would have thought they would have built this stupid damn place ten times better, dude, to house these kinds of monsters so they don't break out like that, bro. But of course, loopholes. Please, for the love of damn god, tell me those lasers are gonna kill that damn thing, man. Please, man. Tell me it will kill him. Backflip under the carpet. There we go. And of course, and of course, it get hits, but all those damn lasers and shit, dude. So I'm gonna survive still. Wall jump, spam the R button. There we go. Grapple through. Oh, that was that's clean, bro. Damn, that's clean right through, man. Shit, and super close too. And he is dead. Oh, damn, that's brutal, man. Shit, he's got like every part of his goddamn body just became freaking sushi, dude. Damn, that's crazy. Well, anywho, if y'all did like the video so far. Alright, you know, I'm gonna end it off right now here. This is getting kind of weird. Well, if you guys did enjoy today's Let's Play video of RE4, make sure to like and subscribe. Power Play signing out, and peace. See y'all later, right? See you guys for part number eight. Peace.